And I will also introduce the translator here. Hello, everyone. I'm Sales Master Jessica Park. And I'm going to start with a question. And you have to choose one of the two. And so number one, you are living a long time, but you have cancer. And the option two is that you can't live a long time, but you don't have cancer. You're healthy. Raise your hand if you like number one. Really? Is it okay if you're sick? And so about three people here said even if they have cancer, they want to live a long time. Is the translation wrong? And again, number one is better. This is normal. <laughs> and then the other option, you don't live a long time, but you want to be healthy. What do you think I am? And what I want is to live a long time healthy. And is it easy to live a long time and healthy? And today there's a doctor here. And there's a doctor, so can you stand up for a moment? And actually, even the doctor, he cannot live a long time healthy either. It's hard to live a healthy and long life, right? And he nods his head. And so I'm going to teach you how to live a long and healthy life, so listen carefully, everyone. And I'm not a scammer, I'm actually a real doctor. Everyone, who is this? And so this is my image or my picture from 1998. And this is when I was giving a lecture at Cornell University. Uh, please show, see my head. How does my head look? There's not a lot of hair, right? And then I'm going to show you my head right now here. And so you can live a long and healthy life, right? And so I'm going to go quickly listen carefully. And so when you look on the screen, there's a certain image. And so actually when you look in the image, there are two green circles. And so these are two things you have to memorize today. Question. And so all living things, including humans, what are they made of? Who knows? Stand up, please. Please come out. So all living things are made of cells. And so everyone, think about a small baby inside of the womb of a mother. And that baby grew to become like you today. How did they grow? They ate food. And so when you eat the breast milk of a mother and food, one cell divides to two. And so we call this cell separation. And so cell division, one becomes two, two becomes four. And so starting from the point you were born to the day you die, your cells continue to divide. And when the cells are dividing, do you think it's always perfectly divided? No. Also abnormal cell division. And actually due to outside factors like radiation or actually uh, chemicals or even stress, the cell does not divide normally. And so when the abnormal cells continue to divide, what does it turn into? It turns into cancer. And so many things will turn into cancer, right? But then God didn't leave it like that. And so there is a protein called P53 that we cannot see. Everyone say it together, P53. And I'm going to ask you later. And so the work that the P53 does, it, it distinguishes the normal from abnormal cells. And so when there's an abnormal cell that's discovered, the P53 protein will kill it. Then there are also abnormal cells that are stronger than the P53. And so those are killed by, in the bottom, caspase. It's a little difficult, but say it, caspase. And so caspase will kill all of the abnormal cells. And that is why we're able to prevent cancer. But then here, there are three things. So if you have these three things, then you can live a long and healthy life. What is the first thing? And so actually the more the P53 works, the older people get. And so the P53 has to work actively for the cancer cells to disappear, but when it works, you also age. And so if you try to prevent getting older, then you get cancer. One more thing. And so actually also the P53 has to able, be able to tell what the abnormal cell is. If it doesn't do that and attacks the normal cell, then that's also a problem. And so the first problem is that the P53 has to actively work, but you cannot get older. And the second problem is that P53 has to distinguish properly. And then the third thing is, what is the protein that kills all the abnormal cells? Space. And when the caspase kills all of them, then what does the dead cells do? And so when the cells die, you also need to regenerate cells quickly. And so do you remember the three things, everyone? So let's resolve those three problems. Who likes lobster? And so today, after talking about this, you're going to eat a lot of lobster. And so unless something external kills a lobster, a lobster will never die. And so that's why they say lobsters are immortal. And I'm going to explain why. And so just because you eat a lot of lobster does not mean you can live a long time. And we have a doctor here. And so is there anyone who has a child who does not look like the mom or father? And so let's say, do anybody have a child that does not look like the mother or father? And so the daughters and sons, they will look exactly like their mothers and fathers. Because the daughters and sons receive the DNA from the parents. So, so the DNA is inside of the chromosomes. So when you have children, the DNA is passed on to the children. And so at the very ends of the chromosomes, the parts that are highlighted in green, and we call that part the telomere. Who has heard of telomeres before? And so earlier I said that the cells continue to divide, right? And when the cells divide, the telomere becomes shorter and shorter. And every time the P53 is active, the telomere becomes shorter. And what happens when the telomere disappears? And that's when you start aging. And the reason why some people get older later or older faster is because of the length of the telomere. And so people started to research how can they maintain the length of the telomere? And then they research lobsters. And so for the lobsters, whether they're young or very old, they all have telomeres. And the fact that they have the telomere means that they're not aging. And so when they research into it, there is a special substance in 
the lobsters. And actually, there's a special enzyme that continues to be in the lobster. So people on the back over there. And so if we take the enzyme inside of the lobster and insert it into a human, then will our telomeres become longer? Then people won't age. Is that right or wrong, everyone? Raise your hand if you think it's right. Actually, it's still hard to do that. Because we're humans, we're not lobsters. But then there's a lot of research based on this. And so, I don't know when, but very soon, people may be able to prevent aging. And so, one of the questions of the three, the P53 causes aging, and we could solve that problem through this, right? And there's two other problems we need to solve. First, and it's that the P53 judges accurately. And second, is that the caspase, the things that the caspase killed, we need to regenerate those cells quickly. If we're able to fulfill those two things, then we could be old and still be healthy, right? And so the doctor says it's correct. And so you judge whether the two remaining questions can be answered with Noni. Is there anyone who doesn't know Noni? You don't know Noni? And Noni is all over the world in all countries. And how do I know? I looked at all the books related to Noni in the world. And so when you look at the screen, these are all the books about Noni. And so around the world, there are these many books, but you don't know Noni. And so modern medicine is made by researching how animals treat themselves naturally. And so, you know, uh, carnivores, they eat plants because of the parasites inside of them, and they throw it all up. And so when tigers want to drink alcohol, they actually eat the rotten fruit to get that alcohol. And until now, based on research, gorillas eat 58 different plants. And so I'm going to ask the mother who has four children, uh, name the 58 plants. As a, it's a gorilla is a little better. And so gorillas, in order to take care of their own health, they will eat 58 different types of plants. And even the birds of the air and insects, they will actually plant to treat themselves. And so actually the way that the animals treat themselves is called self-medication. And so the study of how the animals treat themselves or self-medicate is called zoo pharmacognosy. And so I received my doctorate in creating new medicine. And so I study zoo pharmacognosy. And so near uh, Australia and New Zealand, there is an island called Polynesia. And so in China, Indonesia, and uh, Egypt, the way to treat yourself naturally is very developed. But in Polynesia, there are also people that start to treat themselves naturally for thousands of years. And so there's, James a, Cook, you know, huh? uh, there's a famous explorer named James Cook. And James Cook discovered the island of Polynesia. And he looked carefully at how the Polynesian people treated, self-medicated themselves. And so whether their eyes hurt or head hurt or nose, mouth, whatever it was from head to toe, they would use one plant to treat themselves. And you can tell what it is, right? What do you think they use? Noni. And so this person uses it himself. And it was so effective. And so he takes it to Europe. And then many people in Europe used it and it was so great. And then the women liked it even more. Why? And so when their husbands caused them trouble, when they ate noni, they felt better. So noni has a lot of this substance called serotonin, so it makes you feel happier. And so that's really because serotonin, serotonin becomes melatonin, and then you become happy. And so in Europe, they didn't call noni noni. They call it happy fruit. And remember this person well, there is a doctor named Heineck. And so when you go out and talk to people, if you talk about Dr. Heineck, then it seems like you're very educated. And Dr. Heineck was a very smart person. And what he studied was whether it was humans or animals or plants or microorganisms, he studied why they were healthy. And already the focus is kind of disappearing. Everyone in the back, wave, uh, wave your hands. And so I'm trying to teach you how to live a long and healthy life. You can't start yawning already. And if you're sleepy, then stand up. And so I taught a lot of students and lectured to college students. And if they're sleepy, then I tell them to stand up. This is very important, everyone. And so there was one similar characteristic of all healthy cells. And so for the cell to be healthy, there is one thing that all cells need. And then for that substance, Heineken actually named what it was. And so he named it Zeronin. It's a little hard, but Zeronin. And so if the cell has Zeronin, then it's healthy. If it doesn't have it, then it's not healthy. And so he searched inside the human body where the Zeronin was. And so there is no place in the body that actually stores the xeronin. And then he actually found out that there is actually a special substance inside the liver that changes things to xeronin. So people only have that substance and then later become xeronin and it spreads to the cells in your body. And so what becomes xeronin before xeronin is he called it pro-xeronin. So there are two things you have to be aware of in order to get the prize. And so inside the liver is pro-xeronin, and when your cells are not healthy, your liver will send pro to the cell. And so once that cell receives that pro it becomes healthy again. But there's a problem, everyone. And so the xeronin that is stored inside of the liver, as you get older, it, it depletes. And so, you know, when you get older, it's already sad in itself, but also the pro in your liver disappears. And so you need a lot of pro in your liver in order to send it to your cells that are unhealthy, but when you get old, you have none. And so people may receive the same scar, but there are some people who heal quickly and others who cannot heal quickly. And so those who heal quickly have a lot of prozenerin, and if they don't heal quickly, then they don't have a lot of prozenerin. And so Heineck, he looked for a plant that has a lot of prozenerin. And so the first thing he discovered was pineapple. And so not the part that you eat of the pineapple, but the stem that you cannot eat. 
But then even if we just take pineapple, it also produces a lot of prosenterin for you. And so he looked for another thing. He found a plant that has 40 times more prosenterin than pineapples. And so if you eat that consistently, then you have more than abundant prosenterin in your body. And what is that plant? Noni. And so John Wadworth and Stephen Astori, they were young and they found this out. And who has tried noni before? Okay, noni. Just regular noni. And regular noni, you cannot eat it. And I started eating noni from 1998. And so I ate it because I was sick. If I was healthy, I would never have eaten it. And so it smells bad and it tastes bad. And so these two men, they think of something. And so they may have to make it delicious. And so they created a company called Morinda. Who Morinda. Is Morinda. There's a lot of people. Do you know how much profit that Morinda made last year? It's one trillion. But then more than the Morinda noni, our Atomy noni is much more delicious. And so Atomy America, how much profit do you have to make? Trillion. And so after these people made noni into delicious juice, it went all over the world. And so there's a very, very famous doctor from the medical center in Johns Hopkins. His name is Neil Solomon. Mm. And do you know Neil Solomon by name? Yeah, he knows. And Neil Solomon was the president's physician. And he is someone with really great pride. The patients kept on coming to him and asking, Doctor, can I eat noni? And so he decided to check whether noni is really good for you or not. And so what is the name of the doctor in the back? Oh. Neil Solomon. And so what he did was he gathered 50 doctors. And then he got 10,000 patients. And then for three years, he gives them noni. And so the diseases of 70% of uh, diseases in patients, they improved. And so all diseases that you know. And it even treated those diseases related to mental illness. And then the conclusion was, and so it says 78% of the patients got better, but what about the 22%? No. And so for the 22% that didn't get better, it was because they didn't drink enough noni. And so Neil Solomon's conclusion was, if you drink enough noni, then it could treat all diseases. And so this is actually going to answer two of the questions that I talked about earlier. And so I just wrote a few of them here. Cancer. How many percent? 67. Heart. What percent? Diabetes. Muscle strength, weight loss, hypertension, arthritis, arthritis was 80%, and depression, allergy, digestion, kidney, stress. And if you're a man, please raise your hand. And so if your kidney becomes bad, then where do you think it's bad for? And so if a man's kidney becomes bad, then the man's energy drops, right? And so if there is a problem with your kidney, then men really have to be careful. And so you cannot actually uh, make your wives sad. And so when wives, they get stressed, what do they eat? No knee. And so we're going to look at the study of Heineck again. And so Heineck, as he read the research of Neil Solomon, he discovered something new. So how is it that noni is effective in treating all diseases? And the answer was prozeronin. And so when the prozeronin turns into zeronin and it goes into the cells, all cells become healthy. And so when you have prozeronin, whenever a cell gives that cell signal, it sends prozeronin to that cell. And so noni itself doesn't treat. And so my cells become healthy and it treats that disease. And so all the cells that I have is treating my own disease. And so Heineck and Solomon, they meet and they come up with a theory. And it says that all the cells are connected together through nerves. And so when you poke your pinky with a needle, then your brain knows that there's pain, right? And so if you poke your toe, you know, because it's far away, does your brain not know the pain? Everyone, it knows, right? And so all the cells in your body are connected. And so if there's a part that hurts in your body, then all the cells in your body know this. And so if you have a lot of prosenterin in your body, then it'll send it to the part that hurts. And then that cell that is hurting, it becomes healthy. And it fights with the disease and you, uh, it wins. And so what's the plant that has the most prosenterin? Noni. And so they actually put uh, prosenterin into a damaged cell. Then it became healthy. And so when you eat noni, the prosenterin goes into your large intestine and becomes zeronin. And actually, when it goes into your stomach, it meets with an enzyme that makes the prosenterin into zeronin. And so, and it sends it to the cell, so when you eat noni, you become healthy. And so noni has been consumed by people for over 2,000 years. And so when you put rice or wheat, when you put it into water, does it float or sink? It sinks, right? And for the noni seed, do you think it floats or sinks? It uh, floats. And it so floats in the ocean waters to all over the world. And so there are actually 131 different types of noni. And so the one that is most effective is called non noni citrifolia. And so the noni that you know is noni citrifolia. And so when I first researched noni in 1998, there were 200 theses about noni. Now there are over 2,000 theses about it. And in the UNFA, they say that noni is someone, something that can make you healthy. And then at the American NIH, they started to research how noni is good for you. And then in 2003 in Europe, they acknowledged that noni is a safe food to consume. And I'm going to go quickly through what good things are inside of noni. You know minerals, right? Mineral. 
there anyone who doesn't know minerals? No. Vitamin. Everyone knows it, right? Amino acids. And so it's filled with it. And it also has a lot of polyphenols that actually helps prevent aging. And so 40 times prozenerin in nogi, scopolitin. Scopolitin is actually very good for inflammation. And so when you get older, the thing that you worry about most are infections. And so one of the ways to stay healthy when you get older is to prevent inflammation in your body. And it is called scopolitin that is very effective in um, preventing inflammation. And then something that I really want everyone to remember is called iridoids. And so iridoids actually help scars heal or it actually helps to regenerate cells. And so if you are smart, then you will see one of the two answers to the question. Question that I gave earlier. And then there's also a substance called damnacanthal. And so there is something that's really good inside of cabbages and broccoli. It's indo 3 caminol And so indo 3 caminol and dam damnacanthal is very good for a woman's cancer. It's very good for breast cancer and cervical cancer in women. And so I said earlier that even if the husbands bother the wives, the wives, when they ate tignoni, they felt better, right? And so not only that, but it's also good for breast cancer and uterine cancer. And so women, instead of drinking water, drink noni. And I'm going to explain about iridoids. And so iridoid is something that is secreted from plants to protect themselves. And so when their cells are damaged, they will treat themselves, continue to regenerate cells. And so it has so many effects that we wrote it here. And the first thing is antioxidative. And the second is anti-inflammatory so it prevents inflammation and the third thing is uh, prevents arthritis and also uh, the veins and then also problems in your bone marrow and cancer and also pain and so it helps lessen the pain and also depression and also high blood pressure and then it also helps prevent bacteria and viruses and then it also helps create new veins and also when the blood sugar drops in your blood it helps to re rejuvenate it and it also preserves your veins actually your nerves and also my liver is very bad and it also protects your liver it's also good for your eyes and it also helps heal the parts that are scarred and so when Heineken gave pro uh, uh, prozenerin to a person who received very severe burns they got better it's a, called a blowfish. It's a fish that has a lot of like needles and it blows up. And so when you eat blowfish in the wrong way, you will die. But then they actually detoxify the toxins in the blowfish. There's nothing that iridoid cannot treat. And so this is like a, something that could treat everything, right? And so iridoid is in a lot of superfoods. But then other fruits, they only have one or two iridoid. But then in noni, how many types are there? And so noni has more iridoids than any other fruits. And so when you look at just iridoids, noni is the superfruit of superfruits. And we'll see how much polyphenol it has and so actually noni contains more a hundred times more polyphenol than kiwi mango or tomatoes and so more than kiwi or mango it has a hundred more times polyphenol and so if you eat a hundred kiwis it's very expensive and scopolitin and where is scopolitin good for for inflammation uh, a doctor do you know a inflammatory drug called indomethacin uh -uh. And so it's actually a medicine that treats inflammation. And so they actually compare the two. And it's actually the same level of effectiveness or even more effective. And so noni is very good for inflammation. And so actually because my liver is not good, if I'm just a little bit tired, then I get a lot of inflammation in my face. And so a long time ago, I was ugly. But nowadays I look better, right? And I also have a lot of hair. And so Heineke found that the, which fruit has the most prozenerin? Noni. And now I'm going to say the answer, everyone. And so what is it that distinguishes normal cells from abnormal cells? P53. And so P53, there's a job that it has to do. And what helps it do its job is xeronin. And so xeronin is the thing that helps the P53 find the cancer cells properly. And it prevents things from turning into cancer. And then the last problem. And so we have to regenerate the cells that the caspase kills. But what will do that? Iridoid. So actually, what is the way to prevent the telomeres from getting shorter? I mean, that's what the scientists will do. But the other two questions or problems can be solved through noni. And so until the scientists find a way to maintain the length of the telomeres, what do we need to eat? But there is a problem. And so when you eat paper, you can digest it. You can't. And so if you can digest paper, you're not a human. And so no matter how much you eat, there's only a little amount that your body can actually digest. And so no matter how good hemoin is, you cannot 100% absorb hemoin. Why is it like that? And so the good substances inside of the plants are too big. And so it's very hard to cut those pieces into smaller pieces so you can absorb it. And so once you eat something, everyone, from your mouth to your stomach, it keeps on doing the job of breaking down the molecules. And so why do we chew food with our teeth to make it smaller? Who doesn't know what collagen is? And so do you eat a lot of collagen or a small amount of collagen? Why do you only eat a small amount? And so noni also has a lot of macro big molecules. And so you have to make it smaller. And so if you just squeeze the noni and make it into juice, you cannot absorb it very well. And so the most effective way to make the macro molecules in noni smaller is to ferment it with uh, probiotics. And so besides Atomy, there is no other company uh, that makes noni that can make it into smaller molecules as us. And so when I was making the noni, I bought all the noni that are sold in the world. And so the powdered noni was not very good. 
And so actually the powdered noni is not very effective. And inside of the noni seed, there is a toxin. It's antrocuno. And so in 2005, they said that if you eat the seed of the noni also, then it's bad for you. And so it's better to eat it as a juice. But if you just drink the noni juice, you cannot digest it very well. And even if you drink a lot, you only digest or absorb a little bit. And so we use a technology called bioconversion technology. And so what this is that we put by uh, probiotics bacteria into the noni and made it and fermented it. And so just because you add any probiotic doesn't mean it becomes good. 논이에다가 몇몇 유산균을 집어넣으면 좋은 성분 함량이 늘어나. And so when you add certain probiotics to the noni, then the good nutrients increases. And so you have to find which bacteria is good for adding to noni. And so I researched this together with the government institute in Korea. And so I researched 52 different bacteria. And so KFRI is a Korean health institute, research institute. And KNU is a very famous college university in Korea. And NST is a company or that actually specializes in fermentation. And Atomy's research institute is Atomy Orat. And I'm the director of Atomy Orat. The most important thing. And so we need someone who can financially support us to do this research. Before, I was in Lotte, and it's the fifth largest company in Korea. And so when I tried to research in Lotte, they didn't allow it, because it cost too much money. But then Atomy said to do this research. They supported me financially to do it. And so these five organizations for five years uh, in, uh, investing $500,000 research noni. And as we were researching, there was another problem. And so the longer you ferment noni, it's good. And so when you take the food out of the refrigerator, does it rot or not? Yeah, it rots, right? And noni also, when you ferment it for a long time, it'll rot. And so in the air that you breathe, there is a germ that actually makes things rot. And so actually, inside of the one square feet that you're breathing, there's like hundred millions of viruses. And there's actually 10,000 bacteria, 100,000, and there's 200 uh, other bacteria. And so when you leave out any food outside, it'll rot. And there's one way to prevent rotting. And so it's to put more probiotics than the viruses that, or bacteria that will make things rot. And so you have to put in a lot of probiotics that can defeat or kick out the bad bacteria. And so our fermented noni is for 60 days. And so do you know how much probiotics we put into noni so that it will not rot? And so this is actually the hot, uh, product with the most probiotic. And so it's not just it, a lot. And so it's not just one probiotic, but seven different types of probiotic that each has a good effect. And so together, it gives a really good effect. And so when you add the iridoid in the um, uh, noni, it becomes better 2.3 times. Aren't you going to clap? And so only who can use this probiotic? Atomy. And so actually, the name of this uh, probiotic is Atomy. And other places cannot use it. There is nobody from Marinda here, right? And so what are you going to do with Marinda? Because they don't have this probiotic. And so in the whole world, we are the only company with this probiotic. And not only is it very effective, it's very delicious also. And so how much should we sell it? To sell $2 trillion worth dollars worth of it. And so while we were researching this, we received six patents. And so one is that it's good for diabetes. And another is that it's good for allergies. And so here I put andropause, but in other words, it's something that's good for men. And so men, you could eat a lot of this. And so you also have to research that it has a lot of effective uh, things inside of it. And so we also have the patent to analyze the ingredients of noni. And the branch manager of the U.S. is my friend. And so we came into add to me at the same time. And because he called me, I'm suffering a lot. He has a lot of greed. And you guys might be very difficult. And so starting from December, they told me that I ought to come to the U.S. as I was checking the patents. And thankfully, in December, the patent from the U.S. came out. And so in Noni, there is a substance called adaptogen. And it has serotonin. And so it was approved in the U.S. for a patent that Noni can relieve stress. And so there's a lot of reasons to be stressed, right? And when you get stressed, the cells are harmed. And so what does it turn into? Cancer. And so before it turns into cancer, you have to reduce the stress. And what do you have to eat? And so in the Noni that we sell in the U.S., we're going to add this patent. And so the U.S. branch manager said to add it. And so also, there's, there's going to be a pouch. And so there's going to be a lot of promotions and it's going to be given out at every event. And then in December, there was another patent that came out in Korea. And it says it improves exercise performance and fatigue recovery. And so there are six patents that were approved. And we also published uh, six different articles. And two of these articles are in the name of Atomy. Are we able to open Google by any chance? And so we're going to go to the mm. Google homepage. So please open the Google webpage. Mm. And so in Google, type in Google Scholar. Uh, in Google. And so enter Google Scholar. And so type in my name and then enter. And so I published 19 different articles in the science field. And then click on the third article here. And so this article is about the immunodulatory effect of noni. And so the second name here is Ma Ying which is me. So I'm a professor here. Please uh, highlight the second one. 
is Anatomy R&D Center. And so all the patents and all the articles that I have, who is the owner of it? Atomy. And Atomy is you. And so I'm going to talk a lot with the U.S. branch manager about Noni. And I'm also going to get it checked by the doctor here. And on the outside, I may look healthy, but my liver is very bad. And so in 1998, I almost died. And the reason why I'm still healthy until today is because of Noni. And so for the Atomy Noni, please trust me and eat it. So I made it for myself in order for me to live. And actually, the chairman of Atomy, uh, chairman of Park Hankil, his liver is not good also. And so I looked at it and said, it's not going to make any money, so don't make it. But then chairman Hankil Park, his liver is not good, so he said to make it. Because we both have to live. And so Atomy Noni, we're going to sell 200, uh, 2 trillion worth of it. And at the center of it is Atomy America. Thank you, everyone.